The topic of crash tests in the popular science and automotive press is covered in detail. After all, everyone is interested. Human health and life depend on how the car design behaves under different loads, including extreme ones. But our life and health depend no less on safety measures in another mode of transport, the train. Almost every country in the world has an impressive network of railways. The railway literally sews countries together from south to north and from west to east. Locomotives and wagons are produced all over the world, and all this mighty economy serves us and surrounds us in everyday life. The weight of an ordinary loaded wagon can be up to 100 tons. Freight wagons are formed into trains of dozens of units, and all this colossal mass rushes along the rails, accelerates, brakes, and vibrates. And if it suddenly happens that the train goes off the rails, the damage can be enormous. Therefore, before a locomotive or wagon of one design or another is put on the track, it must pass very strict tests. And these are not only running tests, but also bench strength tests, which require special equipment. In the automotive industry, in order to evaluate the effectiveness of safety, vehicles undergo special crash test procedures according to a certain methodology, followed by the assignment of stars for the safety rating. But what is the situation with rail transport in this regard? Most of us who actively use rail transport have no idea how hard the design of the car is subjected to before it is recognized as safe. Like any modern production, the railway sector is the realm of electronics and automation. All loads that railroad machinery undergoes during tests are created by actuators in accordance with a computer program. The data obtained with the help of sensors is also processed by computer technology. The building of the Center for Testing Railway Equipment looks like an ordinary production building. Inside there is a small office block and a workshop space, which house a real torture chamber for railway equipment and its individual parts. The testing center was created for various tests of rolling stock and its components. Bench tests are carried out at the exhibition site, and running tests are carried out at special training grounds. First of all, it is not serial equipment that is tested, but new models that need to confirm their compliance with strength standards at a certain stage of development, or for launching into serial production. Imagine a freight car loaded with about nine dozen cubic meters of coal. Outwardly, it looks durable, of course, but believe me, there is something to break. The reliability of car designs is influenced by numerous factors, including challenging climatic conditions experienced in different countries. Wide temperature fluctuations, ranging from minus 55 to plus 50 degrees Celsius, with daily jumps of up to 20 degrees Celsius, can render metal brittle and susceptible to damage. Additionally, the loading and unloading conditions and the quality of service also play a significant role in determining the service life of the cars. For instance, gondola cars that are unloaded using grab cranes often sustain more damage, resulting in a shorter service life compared to similar cars unloaded by wagon dumpers. According to existing standards, the expected lifespan of older style cars is 22 years, while modern new generation cars can reach up to 32 years. Unfortunately, as part of the rolling stock maintenance, there is no foolproof method to identify all defects that a car might encounter during its journey. Therefore, the goal is to ensure that the car can withstand maximum loads throughout its specified service life. One of the initial stages of impact testing takes place outside the production building on a separate section of the track. The wagons are gripped by a powerful winch and collide with a massive concrete barrier. Endurance tests can subject a wagon to as many as 8,000 impacts until it incurs significant damage. In a number of key bench tests of wagons, compression tension is in the first place. This is not surprising, as a train's motion is not always smooth. It starts, accelerates, and brakes. During these moments, each individual car and automatic coupler experience the same tensions and compressions, occurring numerous times throughout the car's lifespan, more than 20,000 cycles with various forces during the year of operation. To check how resistant the car will be to such impacts, they put it on the bench, and with the help of hydraulics, they compress it with the force up to 250 tons and stretch it with the force up to 200 tons. New generation carriages show increased strength characteristics due to the use of elements with high resistance to wear. But sometimes fate treats the car much harder. For example, when forming a train, a wagon rolls down a marshalling yard and collides with other wagons. For impact testing, a special stand is used which in appearance resembles stands for crash tests of cars. The car is installed. The end of a special winch is hooked to it. The winch pulls the car towards itself and hits it against a concrete stop with a volume of 250 cubic meters. Standard tests on this stand do not involve the destruction of wagons, but from time to time life tests are carried out, and then the winch hits the sample against the stop up to 8,000 times, or until the wagon fails. In the process of testing in the data collection center, 
Parameters are taken from sensors fixed over the entire surface of the car. The displacements and stresses that usually occur during impact are measured. The emergence in the world of a new railway practice of 3D STAN is important for ensuring safety. The STAN allows you to simulate the operating conditions in which the product may be. Every day the world is actively involved in the development of new test methods, and not only in this direction, but also in many others. Now on the testing center territory they mainly test freight cars, gondola cars, it is a car with high sides and open top, covered cars, in peacetime they carry cargoes, and in military time they transport personnel and military equipment, hopper cars, funnel-shaped self-discharging cars for bulk materials, and tanks. There is a special type of test for tank cars. This type of freight car transports liquids and gases under pressure, and sometimes a vacuum can form inside. Like for example, in the famous experiment with the lemonade tin. First, hot steam is poured inside, and then the tin is put on ice and it collapses. So in order to ensure the can against the destructive effects of pressure, internal and atmospheric, it is tested with a machine that looks like an interlocking of pipes behind lattice walls. It is a powerful pump capable of filling the cistern with up to 90 cubic meters of water in one hour. In another mode, the same rig creates a strong vacuum inside the tank. On the internet you can find a video where the operation of an installation, similar to the one described above, led to the fact that the tank collapsed inside no worse than a Coke can. For example, when testing for impact with a liquid-filled tank, a video camera is installed inside. At the moment of impact, a real high wave rises there, a kind of mini tsunami. There is nothing unusual in the physical effect itself, but the spectacle is impressive. When working on the creation of a new model of railway equipment, it is sometimes important to conduct bench tests of its individual elements. For example, the strength of a wagon bogey is of critical importance. When viewed from the outside, it may seem that the design of the bogey is unpretentious, but in reality, it is a complex assembly with vulnerabilities, such as, for example, the side frame or bolster. If the side frame breaks along the way, the derailment of the train can be considered guaranteed. But how do you simulate the stresses that this casting experiences during operation? After all, the mechanical impact on it is a complex set of loads. Devices for such tests have long been created. With a certain frequency, they apply a given force to a certain point of the object under study. The problem is that during actual operation the same side frame is subjected to mechanical stress simultaneously from different directions, as if in a three-dimensional environment. From the height of the office block, from where the production is controlled, the room where tests take place is like on the palm of your hand. There are special stands for 3D tests. These are unique machines that meet the most advanced standards that have recently appeared in the world and are still being introduced in many countries. This is the same gray metal arch that was discussed at the beginning of the video, a stand for spatial loading of products. During the tests, it is possible to put together the loading devices in such a way as to simulate the load close to the operational load as much as possible, and the impact that the cylinders exert on the part is carried out in accordance with the Preset program, a signal formed by alternating influences. Thus, very close to reality tests with 2 to 3 million loading cycles can be carried out, which makes it possible to reveal the fatigue characteristics of the part and ensure its reliable operation without cracks and breakages. You can get an idea of how powerful and energy-hungry a mighty 3D stand is by looking into a special room where the pumps that feed the stand's hydraulics are located. And next to it is another room with fans to remove the heat that all this machinery emits. Do you think that trains are being tested with sufficient quality in the world to consider this type of transport safe? Share your opinion in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.